We're given an algebraic expression and asked several questions. Our first question is, how many terms are there? The terms are connected by addition or subtraction. So notice here we have one, two, three, four, five terms. Next, we're asked to identify the constant term. The constant term is a term with no variable factors. It also has degree zero. So notice how here the constant term is here on the end. We have minus two. So because of the minus, we say the constant term is negative two. Next, we're asked to identify the coefficient of the first term. Notice the first term is five x to the fifth. A coefficient is a number used to multiply the variable. So notice in this case, five x to the fifth means five times x to the fifth, and therefore the coefficient is five. So we can think of the coefficient as the number factor of the term. Next we're asked to identify the coefficient of the second term. Notice how here we have plus x to the third, and therefore the second term is x to the third, which we can also think of as one x to the third, which means one times x to the third, and therefore the coefficient is one. Now we're asked for the coefficient of the third term. Notice how we have minus x squared here, and therefore the third term would be negative x squared, which we can also think of as negative one x squared, which means negative one times x squared, and therefore the coefficient is negative one. And then finally we're asked to determine the factors of the fourth term. Notice how the fourth term, notice how the fourth term is x over four. Looking at the numerator of x, we can think of this as one x, and therefore this term is equivalent to one-fourth x, or one-fourth times x, and therefore our factors are one-fourth and x, so we enter one-fourth comma x, or if we want x comma one-fourth. I hope you found this helpful.